Making journalists safer is termed enabling a safe space uh, here in Brussels. And what I try to do with my work is use the influence of the European Union institutions to make that change possible. My role changed a lot with the 2017 murder of Daphne Caruana in Sri Malta and the 2018 murder of Jan Kustak in Spain. Both were investigative journalists who have been taking enormous risks to uncover corruption, financial crime, organized crime. The two had an enormous burden on their shoulders, and they worked for the right reasons. They were working to uncover subject public interest, but there wasn't enough protection for them. And when they were killed, it shocked people. It led to mobilization of what needs to be done in order to protect journalists who are working in isolated conditions, whilst at the same time they're taking such big risks. And round about the same that the, and the, the narrative in Brussels changed. People started to look at the thousands and one different threats that journalists have on a daily basis, the conditions in which they work. And the discussion focused on what needs to be done to make these journalists safer. If they're bringing us the story, if they're uncovering allegations of, for example, investment of new funds, breaches of new law, how can the institutions themselves better respond, better protect journalists? Because these individuals are, in essence, defending the EU's interests. So what needs to be done? And that has been the discussion that has been taken taking place in Brussels since then. And that's been part of my work in terms of advocating for change.